Welcome back. This morning I'm joined by Matt Williams, Ian Skulls, and Amelia Booker, who are all a part of this week's McLeod Summer Playhouse production of Footloose at SIU in Carbondale. And the cool thing about this production is it's being performed by all high school students, and you guys are a part of this production. So where do you guys currently go to high school? Um, so actually, I just recently graduated from Carterville High School. Awesome. Yeah, I graduated from Marion. That is super cool. And so, Matt, let's start with you. What's it like kind of directing on the other side of things, working with, like, I guess, high school students? Well, it's pretty awesome because we pick the cream of the crop of uh -huh. Southern Illinois high schools. Yeah. So we get sort of the best musical theater students uh, from Southern Illinois high schools. And it's, it's a real pleasure because they're uber talented. They have so much more energy than I will ever have at this <laughs> age. And uh, it's, it's just a pleasure, really. Yeah. yeah. And so for you guys, Ian and Amelia, what's it like working at SIU now? So um, I've grown up doing just like community theater and it's such a different world because like if you think community theater is like super dedicated and hard, you should definitely try like a summer stock show because we cram everything into a month yeah. and it's like go, go, go. There's so much like that goes into it behind the scenes, so many hardworking people that you work with. It's just so different from like a show with like everyone versus a show where you audition and you like have a process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ian, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, I haven't really done the same type of theater that she's done. Uh -huh. uh, I've just done a few shows and most of them were at the high school. Um, so what I've really enjoyed about this is being able to work with professionals mm -hmm. and being pushed a lot Yeah. because there's a lot of things that I didn't know I could do that now uh, I'm being pushed to do and I really enjoy that because it's a great learning experience, I suppose. Yeah, and what would you guys say is kind of like the big difference between high school theater and doing something like this? Is there a difference? Um, I think the time commitment is definitely a lot different. Um, normally it's like two or three rehearsals a week for maybe like an hour or two for community theater, but for us we've been going for five hours a day, I oh, think. Wow. Um, and then starting this week we'll be in the like studio from 5 to 10 p.m. running the show over mm -hmm. and over again, just making sure it's like really like fine-tuned for the audience mm -hmm. yeah most definitely and so there's obviously a lot of music and dance in Footloose so how has it been preparing for this show um, it's definitely been a lot of like breath work uh -huh. um, definitely with the dancing and the singing it definitely adds a different component from just one or the other mm -hmm. so you really have to like be on top of getting the biggest breath you can before you sing or dance a line right. and making sure that like it's not choppy for everybody else because, like, you always have to be singing. Mm -hmm. And I guess, Matt, for these students, since they're not currently in college, you know, studying this, yeah. is the goal for these students to, you know, get them to experience what I guess it could be like studying theater in college? Yeah, it really turns into this sort of immense cram session mm -hmm. as far as technique for acting, singing, and dancing. They, the, because of their ability already, they come in with a lot of innate talent and a lot of you know practice talent. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things that, that they haven't formally sort of been uh, taught yet. So yeah, I'm like giving them sort of 101 in, in, yeah. in, in acting technique, in uh, projection, articulation, uh -huh. and then uh, myself along with our co-choreographer, Samantha Bursich, who's a local choreographer who's a amazing you know we are just giving throwing so much choreography at them mm -hmm. and, and really demanding a, an ex expert professional level mm -hmm. sort of fine-tuning of all that movement right exactly yeah. I could imagine that it's a lot of fun to you know be able to help these students grow in their passion and whatever yeah. that looks like and so how can people go about getting tickets for this production just get onto that computer or smartphone and go to McLeod summer playhouse that's MC L E O D Summer Playhouse. Just do a search and you'll find it. Awesome. And yeah. when is this taking place? Great question. August 3rd through August 6th okay. uh, are performances from Thursday to Saturday at 7.30 p.m. And our Sunday matinee is at 2 p.m. I know they're selling out quick. So awesome. uh, go for the Friday and the Saturday. They have more tickets available. That's awesome. Well, guys, it sounds like it's going to be such a wonderful production. And good luck to you both. And to you, Matt, it Thanks. sounds like it's going to be great. Thank you so much for joining us on The Breakfast Show, too. We always appreciate it. We'll be back in just a few Thank minutes. You. Thank you.